welcome back to my channel. I thought it'd be fun to do a review today on my straw um, bamboo handbags. I have um, kind of accumulated quite a few, Only I have six here, and I thought I would give you my thoughts and um, opinions on all of them. Um, one is brand new, so I can't really totally give you my thoughts on it, but I wanted to show you it anyway. So let's first start with the most popular one that's like all over Instagram, everybody's wearing it, and it's the Cult Gaia um, Arc bag, I think it's called. And I have the small version. And it is just, I just love it. I had seen it last year and I went to go purchase it and it was already sold out. Um, I believe it's sold out this year, but there it's been much more readily available than it's ever been before. So um, some places like have pre-orders available and whatnot, but I purchased a small, the large was just way too, I mean, it's a, it's a cute little handbag and it's definitely, I think more, um, I appreciate the look more in the smaller, the larger looked a little bit too, like, I don't know, it looks a little odd. And, but it's, it doesn't hold a whole lot. Like I can get my wallet, my phone, my keys, and maybe like a lip gloss in here. Um, someone asked me like, how much can you see through? I mean, you can definitely see through it. But because the slats are so close together, you definitely can't see too much into it. I mean, someone would really have to stare to see what's in your handbag. And if you have anything skinny and long, um, like keys, your keys won't fall through it if they're on a keychain. But if it's like a single key, it will fall through. So I recommend everything in here should be in something, like a little pouch or a little something or other. Because it's, I mean, it's definitely not meant for like a, it's not a tote bag. Um, but I absolutely, absolutely love it. Some people are like, do you think that it's worth it? And even though it's a little trendy, this, regardless if it's trendy or not, I will be wearing this 10 to 15 years from now because it's still a great bag for spring and summer. I mean, how cute is that? All right, this is my newest one that I just picked up. This is by Caillou and it's called their picnic basket bag. Isn't it cute? It's like, it opens up here. Um, you can't get too much inside, um, you know, you just kind of hold the handles and I just thought it was like the cutest little design and I'm a big fan of Caillou. I have, um, two other bags, um, from the brand and I just thought it was like a really pretty color. I haven't, I don't have any, um, too many tote bags with a ton of color just because I like to keep them very neutral because I feel like it really, I mean... Not, not the bags are not supremely expensive, but when you buy a bag that has definite color on it, it definitely narrows down what you can wear with it. So this, this is actually quite sturdy too. This is really a bag and there's like a little pocket in the inside back there. So this is definitely a bag that you can get stuff in. Nothing's going to fall through and it's really much more of a sturdy bag. Um, this one is by Hat Attack. I thought this was super cute. It's very, very lightweight. And I love it because it's lined, first of all. So it is not going to, nothing's gonna fall through this. And whereas, now my other one is lined as well. Um, this one, it was about, I think it was only like $100. Now, just know, I mean, you're not paying a ton of money for some like gorgeous handmade um, straw bags. So little straw bits like pop out here and there. Like I've definitely seen like little straw bits and that sort of thing. I didn't get it to be like this perfect looking bag. I kind of like it when it looks a little bit worn, but it definitely can carry a good amount. I love tote bags that are a decent size, but not oversized. Like I see some girls carrying like a huge oversized tote and I'm like, are you going to the beach? Because if you're not, or you're not going to a picnic, why do you need a tote bag that large for like your daily things? So that's just not for me. I mean, some girls may love it, but that's just not my, my jam. So that's my hat attack. This is another bag by Caillou, the same bag that built or that I um, purchased the picnic bag from. And how cute is that little, like the round shape with the kind of wooden handle and the colorful inside. It does have a pocket here, which is kind of annoying though, because it falls right behind this thing. I don't like that. It's a little annoying, but um, I just love the shape of this. I think it's really interesting. It's definitely a different color than this. 
a little bit more, a little bit whiter, a little bit of a um, brighter beige. And I love the shape, I think it's really unique. And then the last two are ones that I've had for quite some time, but I still really enjoy and really wear quite a lot. This is the first bag that I purchased from Caillou, and this is the traditional um, tote bag. I'm sure you've seen a lot of girls carrying it. Um, it's very popular. It comes in all different color handles. It does come with pom-poms. I took the pom-poms off because so I just didn't like them. I was like, I'm not a pom-pom girl. And I feel like it makes it, they were um, beige and blue or like tan and blue. And I felt like it really pigeonholed the bag. I mean, the bag, the handles make it somewhat neutral, but I felt the pom-poms made it even more like I had to make sure it matched. So that's why I took them off. But this one is not lined. But nothing falls through this. It's quite sturdy. And I just, I don't know, I like this one. I can wear this for the beach, but I typically actually wear this every day, like day to day. The last one, though, is a beach bag. Though I've seen some girls carrying it as a regular bag, you do you. That's my whole thing. Even if I don't like it, I like that you like it. And it's the Marisol Big Tote Bag. Now also has pom-poms. I don't mind the pom-poms in this one because it for me, it's like a beach bag. So pom-poms hanging off. I don't mind that. And, um, but I definitely, this is for me is definitely a beach bag, but it is quite sturdy. Definitely holds a lot. There's like a little, um, I have like other bags and stuff like that in here. Um, but it has like a little, you know, compartment over here. Uh, there's no other compartments in it. I mean, you're not, you know, you're not going to get a lot of compartments in a beach bag, but I really love this. I know that Marisol makes a lot of other smaller size totes, like large like this, and then a second size down. That second size down, I would wear on a regular basis. I think that's a cute everyday bag. And now she makes tons of more colors than I'd ever seen before. So I really uh, recommend this bag as a beach bag, or even the smaller one as like an everyday tote. So hope you found this fun and helpful. I mean, straw, you know, tote bags and everything are kind of like all the rage right now. Not that they haven't been all the rage in previous years, but I just see them like everywhere now. And I like to kind of give my traditional, you know, more statement bags a break in the summer. Cause I mean, though I love that Gucci bag that I just purchased, it doesn't look so great when I have like this nice flowing dress on and that big, heavy, bulky bag. Um, I always think it looks kind of silly. So I've just been really gravitating towards like these, you know, lightweight materials. And I just feel it gives it very, like a very more, I don't know, frivolous look and a little bit more um, lighthearted and fun. And a lot of them are so much cheaper than a traditional designer bag. So that's an even better um, bonus. So I'll link all of them down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.